The Hayes County family wants closure after the shooting death of their loved one. The sheriff's office says a corrections officer shot and killed an inmate at a hospital. Family and activists are asking what re really led up to the shooting. It happened earlier this month at a Seton Hospital in Kyle. Now, you'll remember the county judge asked that body cam video be released within 10 days of the incident. That didn't happen. As Jayla Washington reports, law enforcement doesn't have any plans to release it as of right now. Joshua Wright's family viewed his body on Monday after a Hayes County Corrections officer shot and killed him weeks ago here at Ascension Seton and Kyle. Officer said he tried to escape after assaulting a corrections officer, but activists aren't accepting that answer until body cam footage is released. That's precisely why we have body cam footage so that we can review what actually took place and, and see the, the circumstances uh, around why Mr. Wright lost his life. In a video we can't show yet since we're waiting on permission from the person who recorded, it shows who they say is right with shackles around his ankles at some point. Hayes County Sheriff's say, though, he ran through the emergency room when trying to escape. The director of the Combined Law Enforcement Association of Texas, or CLEAT, first tweeted this, saying Wright grabbed sharp medical tools, then retracted that statement, saying Wright had moved toward the tools. I would suggest any person inside of an ER who takes any step in any direction is inadvertently making a move toward a sharp medical instrument. Texas Rangers are investigating and haven't released any new information. And it's not clear when Hayes County sheriffs will release the footage, though Becerra called for it to be released, saying what Cleats has happened conflicts what some witnesses say they saw. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Hayes County Commissioners just approved over $6 million for public safety. That includes new body cameras and tasers. The activist you just heard from feels if money is invested in things like this, there should be more transparency, releasing body cam footage quicker. The New York Times looked into how the Texas Rangers handle in custody deaths. Last year, the Times identified 29 cases that the Rangers investigated since 2015. And according to the Times, out of those 29 cases, prosecutors did not charge anyone in law enforcement. The Times says the Texas Rangers declined to interview and our requests.